On the issues of uh, puerile and uh, sentimental reasoning, sentimental reasoning, which back up, you know, these um, issues of same religion, same religion tickets. Our party look beyond that, and we are more centered and focused on, you know, delivering the dividends of democracy to teaming Nigerians, and that is in searching for the best and best capable and that can deliver the dividends of democracy, advancing the nation beyond the threshold of insecurity that we are in presently, uh, advancing the economic betterment of average Nigerian, and giving life in abundance to the teeming populace. That should be the concern of a true lover of the nation. Uh, the issue of religion, uh, one cannot really put it in the back burner, but at the same time, it is, uh, it is against, it is inverted logic to put it in the front burner of the nation. Because if you look at it, presently, there is a pastor as the vice president of Nigeria. To what extent has that put advantage over Christians? I mean, on Christians over Muslims. In the same way, when you have President Jonathan as, you know, president of this country, you have a situation where more churches, more Christians were killed in suicide attack, bombing, and everything. And what we are trying to say is that it is not the religion of the person occupying the office of the president or vice president or what have you, but it is their capacity. It is their capability to deliver on the dividend of democracy. And we have it on record that um, Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tinubu have this track record in Lagos State as Lagos State Governor. Then Senator Kashim Shetima had that track record too in Bono State. Beyond whatever you will say, Ashwaju's policies in Lagos State are very balanced beyond a Christian I mean, religious consideration. It's for the progress of the country and the progress of the state. And to the extent that more favorable conditionalities were given to Christians in Lagos State during the time of Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Inubu as the governor of Lagos State, consider his, uh, consider his policy, return of schools to the missionaries. About 90% of those schools are Christian schools. He could not discriminate against them. Consider even his appointment. You know, if you look at all those things, you consider them wholeheartedly. Even his own immediate family, he didn't, he didn't Islamize them. So what we are saying is that you go beyond sentiment. Don't All put right. a wrong, a, I mean, a square peg in a round hole. You put a round peg in a round hole. The best man for the job is Ashwaju, and the best man to compliment him is Senator Shetima Kashim, you know, a serving senator from Bono State. Uh, the two of them are the tickets that can really advance Nigeria into the promised land.